Nico, League Cup action at Walsall uh, tomorrow night, but just quickly uh, sum up, if you can, your reaction to, to Saturday's win against Rotherham. Uh, good start. Lots of positives. Plenty that we need to improve and get better at. Um, an amazing kind of, I suppose, first day uh, to get was it seven thousand four hundred? There was was incredible on day one. At, at this time of year, the atmosphere was spot on. I thought the lads gave the crowd plenty to uh, to cheer about. But we also gave Rotherham opportunities that we shouldn't have uh, from a game that we, for the most part, I think dominated. Certainly dominated the ball. Um, we created chances that we we need to do better with if we're gonna continue to challenge these teams with you know bigger resources bigger budgets etc cetera, etc cetera. but i thought as far as first day goes it was a it was a real positive one um the the important thing now is like with every game it's never too high never too low it's trusting in the process that we've been going through now for a little while and i think you saw glimpses of that on on saturday where we had a cohesion that comes about by keeping players in the building um and, and continuing to work with them on that process day by day, session by session, week by week. So um, lots of positives, but we're, no one's getting carried away. It's one game. Um, a lot can change, as we know. And uh, and our focus is straight on to Warsaw. And obviously we're all hoping that we can also use that result as a springboard for, for Tuesday night. The Cowboy Cup, of course, a competition that we have some great memories in from last season. Yeah, and it, it's it's brilliant because it's... Of course, it's the next game, but for us now, we, we've got a squad that's competitive. We've got guys that will be given opportunity through necessity. Some will get opportunity because you know they've, they've, they've worked hard and they deserve that. Um, we need to make sure that we go to Warsaw, who had a good result themselves on the opening day. Um, and we put our kind of uh, best foot forward. I think we've got a competitive, strong squad of players that are fit and ready. Um, we've got some young lads coming through. Um, desperate for an opportunity and and this is uh, a great game for us to go and show that we are what we say we are we're a squad we're a team you know a, a big positive for me from Saturday would be that everybody contributed the finishes that came on obviously Caleb scored the goal Ben Perrington comes on for 10 minutes at the end is under huge amounts of pressure because they're going for it and he was calm he was in control he did what needed to, uh, to be done and that's testament to a squad doing the right things this will be another opportunity for everybody to show their, their value, their worth, and that they're ready to go. Obviously, it's, this is only the, the second game, but for you and Gary, is it, is, it, is it difficult to pick a team for tomorrow night's game, or is it one that picks itself? I think it, the, the lads have done so well over pre-season that, that every decision so far has been difficult. Um, this is the thing with pre-season. Uh, everybody's happy. Everybody talks about, you know, every club in the country will be saying we've got a great group of lads and we've got an opportunity and we've got a chance to do this. But the fact is that in pre-season, nobody's been left out. Nobody's been disappointed. Nobody's lost a game that they can't chalk up to learning opportunities and fitness and all the rest of it. Whereas when the real stuff starts, that's when emotions are higher, things are more charged, players who were hoping to start, didn't get that opportunity. And now they're right back to, well, gone then. I deserve to play and I'm going to show you. And our lads have done that all throughout pre-season. There's nobody that was that was left out of the starters on Saturday that hasn't got a, a reasonable argument to come and knock on the door and go, why have I been left out? So I think from our point of view, it's a great position to be in. From the manager's point of view, the more difficult decisions he has to make, the better. Um, and we'll take that into Warsaw. Obviously, I know you'll be looking more in, more at the opposition in today's sessions, but just for your early analysis, what can you tell us about Walsall? What do you expect from them? Yeah, a, a really good, solid, hard-working team. Um, they, they like to try and play, but they're not scared of, of mixing it up. Um, they've got some good athletes in the team. They've got some pace where it matters. And they've got a, a, a nice mix of kind of youth and experience. So it's... It's a tough one. It really is a tough one. Um, I'd expect nothing less. Again, most teams, you know, uh, are coming off a pre-season. They'll be feeling you know, positive and confident about. And um, it's up to us to go there and impose ourselves. This is a game that we need to show what we're about. You now you mentioned the fans in your, in your first answer. Talking about Saturday, it's um, it's, it's about two and a half hours up to Warsaw, but it's actually one of the easiest journeys we can make, really, isn't it? Hopefully, get a good good following up there. Yeah, our, our fans over the last couple of years while we've been here have been excellent. Um, 
I'd, I'd expect to see a few smiley faces there. It's going to be a, a, a good cup game. And from last season's experiences, I think we know that it can lead to, to really good things. But we just have to be ready for that uh, kickoff tomorrow night. We need to be prepared. We'll go and work on that now. And uh, the lads will get everything that they need to be able to go out and execute. Great stuff, Nico. Thanks a lot. Cheers.